What's up guys, this is Major Moses here with Major Moses Gaming. Today I got a game for you, it's called Galaxy, uh, Rebel Galaxy. This game is pretty awesome. Um, basically, you can either be a space pirate or you can be part of a federation of the militia. Uh, they have the good, bad guys. There's actually several teams of bad guys, so I'll show you here. So this is the game, you get a ship. And you basically, you can fly pretty much anywhere you want to. Like here's a map. This is, this is this is just this solar system. There's many solar systems. So, uh, we got this planet, we got all these outposts, and this is where you can buy things. If you look at the bottom right, they have things in stock. Uh, you, you basically, this is the lore. You find lore around diamonds, uh, munitions, all kinds of stuff, and they have varying prices. There's an economy in the game. Yes, it is possible to buy anything in the red means that it's below normal market average price. Anything in the green means it's above the normal market average price. Now, basically, what you want to do is buy everything when it's cheap and then sell it when it uh, go to another place. So, like here, you can buy whiskey and it's really expensive. But if you were to go down here, uh, let's see if it pops up. Whiskey, whiskey, whiskey. Yeah, whiskey is a little more cheaper here. So, you could buy it cheap here and then go to this place and sell it for $10,000 and buy it down here for four, I think it's four, yeah. But that's one aspect of the game. So you can fly around, you've got different speeds, you've even got warp, so you can boost. Let me this game down, this game's loud. Hold on, what's I got? Yeah, I had to turn the volume down. It was just blaring in my microphone. Oh. It was just blaring into my ears. I got headphones on. Let's see, I set up a custom waypoint. Uh, what was I doing? I'm kind of in the middle of what it was I was doing here. Right now, I've got... You got a tactical, you can adjust your... You have turrets uh, with manual settings and stuff. Let me just go here and just show you this. Turn around. So the stations that you go to sell uh, like weapons, defensive items, um, they can even fix the ship. You get into battles and stuff uh, with other ships, usually it's the bad guys. You don't do anything to piss anyone off, you don't have to worry about the militia. The militia's actually stop. They'll, they can wipe you out. Alright, so, when you first start, you get this tiny, tiny little ship here. And it's pretty quick. Uh, comes with a couple of broadsides. It, it's all broadside battle, like the old Navy battles. You would turn it sideways like this and shoot at them with all your cannons in a row. And they got different types of cannons. They got lasers. They've got uh, what do they have anyway? I'm trying to remember. Okay, so broadside. These are all the different broadsides. You've got pulse cannons. Tachyon cannon. Fired swiftly. See different guns, they reload quicker and shoot faster. Or you can do what I do, and I have this. This thing shoots super, super powerful beams of energy. It's kind of like the ion cannon if anybody's ever played Command and Conquer. Um, this thing just annihilates. Uh, what I did is I, I saved up some money and bought this. You have components of the fit, the hull, the overall armor. You got a shield, and then you have a deflector deflector in case somebody shoots something really strong or you catch a missile or something coming at you you can turn your deflector on really quick before it blows you up and takes out your shield so it kind of helps you out or if your shields go down and you don't want to take any damage to your hull you kick the deflector on and depending on what deflector you have you can have it for see the drain is 22 seconds that's if you don't take any damage and once it absorbs 495 damage it cuts out completely and you're kind of helpless so what you want to do is you want to upgrade some of your comp if you're if you're constantly getting blown up, then you're going to want to upgrade your defenses. If you if you find that your battles take way too long, you might want to upgrade your weapons. Then we have components. You get your engine, your booster, and then you have a warp drive. You can actually go into warp and travel hundreds of thousands of miles away in a matter of minutes. You know, instead of taking an hour to get somewhere, you can go halfway across the damn galaxy. You know. 
cargo. Um, you, like I said, you can pick things up and sell them. These are cargo expansions. Honestly, there's a place called the Merchant Guild. You should join it. They have better ones. They have the Merchant Guild version of the large uh, cargo extender. And instead of 12, it actually extends it by 20, I think. 20 or 25. Uh, the tractor beam, that's what you use to pick things up with. Uh, the jump drive. I went and bought me one of these early. It cost $75,000, which in the beginning of the game is almost impossible to get. You're going to have to do some missions. Uh, as you get further and further along, the missions give you more money. Uh, the jump drive, jump drive I use to do this. I have a gate over here. Oh, wait, that's a mission. I can't click on it because it's a mission. Already. There's a jump gate right there. Zoom in on it. You go through that gate. And that gate takes you from here. This is where you start switching from here to here. Now you can only get to these different solar systems by jumping in the gates that correspond to where they're pointing. So, um, obviously when I went here, everybody went up twice difficulty. I ran into an armada and got annihilated on accident. It was a big dreadnought class leading the, the pack. But yeah, I saved up some money. I jumped drive to here. And when I had hundreds of thousands of dollars saved up, I bought super awesome weapons and then came back to here. And now all my missions are really easy. Look at my missions. Yeah, see, it says very, very low. And I get like 18, 18 grand for that. That's a shit ton of money for where I'm at. However, there are things in here that cost lots of money. There's a Dreadnought class ship that's on here that completely dwarfs anything that I have. Um, and that thing costs like 16 million dollars or something. It's expensive as hell. But anyway, let's go ahead and I'll go show you the combat. Engines at maximum. So, um, am I carrying anything? Yep, I'm carrying some gold and some shit and some stuff. I'm trying to save money and one of the ways to get some money <clears throat> is by doing runs, you know, go buy something where it's cheap and then take it to another outpost where they really need it and they'll they'll give you twice as much as you paid for it. And I've been doing that, that little merchant running back and forth. However, there are armadas of pirates out there that will try to stop you and take your cargo. So you could do one of two things. You could either appeal to the pirates and start stealing things, or you can protect them and you'll get money from, you know, your service. Little Say there's a big armada of pirates and the militia are fighting, they'll put out a post on a mission and say, hey, we'll give somebody eight grand to just join the fight and help us out. Or you can do what's called dead drop and they'll just have something somewhere where somebody dropped it off. Pirates were supposed to intercept it, but you know, the pirate got caught by the militia and then they're telling you, hey, they left something out there, go grab it, we'll give you money for it. You can do one of two things there too. You could either keep it for yourself or you could turn it in and then they'll pay you, you know. The game's pretty open and it allows you to do a lot. I'm surprised. And, you know, for, for a game that was free, I think it was free on the PlayStation Network. It's either that or it's free to play completely. But for a game that is free in a sense, this is a pretty damn good game. I've been looking for a space exploration game like this. I played Spore and then you get to the space exploration on that and it's just, it's massive. But that's all it is. It's just endless amounts of repetitive discovery Unlike No Man's Sky, No Man's Sky has it where you know every planet's different. On here, I, I happen to notice that everything on here is different. Um, I haven't been to any of the other solar systems. I've only been to two, and there's like 12 or so. But let's see here. I was running up here to drop some shit off. Um, what do they want? They want they need salt. I have no reason to go there. Screw it, I'll do a mission, maybe. I need to get rid of the stuff that I'm holding, though. Double check. Okay. Clothes, gold, and intellectual property. Let's see here. Give me two seconds. I'm going to pause and uh, sort some shit out, and then I'll be right back. I found out I can't pause it, so it looks like I'm stuck doing this. Um, it gives a lot of money for... 
intellectual property. Let's see. Here. You know what? I'll do it this way. I'll just go there. All right. So when you hold this down, when you're out in the middle of the open. You can do this. You can see how far away it is. Like, yeah, I am hauling ass. Now there's these nebulas that have dirt and rocks, and you can break them open, and you can do it. I've been caught. All right, we want you to go, motherfucker. Die. You want to go? Okay. Die. Scan real quick. I got that. Okay. Scan that one. Scan that one. But you ain't going to go back. I have automatic turrets that fire at will. Bounty detected. Where? I don't see nobody. Those are the good guys. Sometimes bounties are on good guys. I don't fuck with them. I let the militia sort their own bullshit out. Yeah, but anyway, like, you can check out your gun or whatever that. Here's the ship. Alright, so the weapons I have. This ship happens, when you start out, you get, uh, I think it's three broadside cannons, one secondary, and then you get a turret. Since I've got a bigger ship, I've got one, two, three, four, five. Well, I have six turrets. There's one on each side, there's three on the top and one on the bottom. Um, as you can see, I've got Mark II, Mark III turrets. I highly recommend the mining laser. It makes mining a lot easier. Plus, the mining laser, when it hits opponents, will drain their shield really fast. And as far as the broadside, I, the, the neutron beams are pretty boss. They just cut right through. As you've seen, they just cut right through them. So, oh, ordnance. As you can see, I got a leech turret. It takes ammunition. I got 64, uh, 37 there. This one holds 24. That's a missile launcher. The missiles I rarely ever use unless there's a whole bunch of people and they swarm me. The missiles come out of the sides, like this. That's my broadside cannon. But if I shoot missiles, the missiles will come out the sides like that, and then they'll seek out a target, whoever it is I'm looking at, and take them out. So, I wish you could paint the ships themselves. Sadly, you can't. So, if they added some customized, uh, custom, oh shit, yeah, distress signals. Yep, yeah, they're bad guys. Man, that caught me completely off guard. Let's see here. Yeah, I'm not even put on my phone I'm just putting my turret to do their job. see my ship's not even damaged or it would pop up a thing right here under shipyard where you can click on it and then up at the top it would say repair ship but obviously I didn't take any damage not only did I buy one of the super weapons uh, from a different uh, solar system where they have more powerful weapons but I also got a stronger shield I was gonna upgrade the hull but if my shield didn't fail to begin with, I wouldn't have to worry about the hull. And the shield regenerates, the hull does not, so... Kind of pick the better. Let's see here. Man, they're not offering me shit. 700 bucks? Grand Electro Property Men, and things go for an average of 1500 Man, he's trying to fuck me over here. That's 10 grand, that one's 5600 I'm getting 35 Fuck that. You guys have diamonds? Ooh, hold up. You're selling diamonds for 800 and I, I know somebody that'll buy them for 12 and I can't buy anything because my fucking space. Over on the bottom right, you can see the buy-sell option. Um, 
and it'll say how much space and hold. It says zero out of 24, so everything's being taken up by this bullshit. I'm trying to find somebody that'll buy it, and nobody wants to buy it. I'm getting mad. Stellar uh, map. Let's see here, do you fuckers? Come on, somebody's got to buy this. Wait a minute, what about the guild? Psh. Wait, designer clothes. Did I die? I keep forgetting. Yep, designer clothes, six. Okay, so he's offering money for that. Let's go to this station. No, he's offering ten. Wait, nope. What about you? What do you offer? Not a goddamn thing. I love the music in this game. It's got this... If you've ever seen Firefly, <clears throat> then you'll know what I mean. It's just got this, like, western pirate feel in its space. I mean, it's... They've been able, they found a way to make it mesh together and make it work really well. And Let's see here. Man, you guys don't have shit about you. Nope. Mm. I must have fucked up and bought something when it's, it just stayed low. I could go to another galaxy or uh, another solar system, but that's too much fucking work. This. this is a luxury place. They should seven grand, man. Diamonds. Well, I can offload the diamonds. There. Assuming that's what it is, because here's the thing: when you go to it, map. see how it says uh, at the bottom right it says the name of it, and then on top it says what it is. Um, that's the class, the government, type of economy, how many people are there, uh, status. As mining rush means. Uh, a lot of people are getting gold and all kinds of shit, and they're mining for things, and they're bringing them back there, which is going to cause them prices to drop. Um, or if they have a, a crate, says it's on the way, everything's going to be cheap. So you have time to go there and buy a bunch of shit when it's cheap, and then when they get a surplus of it, they're going to sell it all off really quick, and then everything else they have left, they're going to need, and they'll be out of stock. See, there's two lists. This one says out of stock. That one says in stock. So eventually, you hold on to it for a minute, and then you can go sell it back or go somewhere else. I haven't read any tips or tricks about this game, but um, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of them. There's probably some shit I don't even know about. Man, nobody wants to buy intellectual property. It's books. Is everybody is stupid. Nobody wants to fucking read. You're smart enough to build a goddamn spaceship, but you don't want to fucking read anymore. Purified water seems to get a lot of money. I know a lot of games that have purified water as a commodity. Um, Fallout was one of them. There was a way to, like, mine for it. Or not mine for it, but you build these machines and you can purify some water. And I built a shit ton of them. I think I built 30 of them. I get, like, a thousand water every couple of days. And I just sell it off. I just use that as money. I take it with me. I don't have... Let's see. It takes designer clothes. Ten grand. Fuck it. I'll take it. Yeah. Okay, so I'm way up here. I need to turn, 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 turn. turn. It's Engines at maximum. Man, you can get the fuck out of here. Thousand miles. Try to get there probably in a minute. Um, 
But if you wait too long, uh, everything will just come together into a great big asteroid, eventually become a planet. Satellite boosters depleted. system to the being able to warp. Um, nothing has to be in your way, and I mean nothing. And even if something is close to you, where there's a chance you could accidentally maneuver into it, it will prevent you from doing it. I've never warped anything to slam into it. Trust me, I've tried. I, was, I went and saved my game, and I was like, hey, look, there's a ship. I'm going to try to warp through it and smash into it and see what happens. It wouldn't let me. It gets close. You can run into it, you know, when you're just normally driving. diamonds for sale though. You know what? Uh, this, is, oh, this is terrible. I I would lose so much money by doing that and I don't want to. Especially here. This is the price I paid for all these. Roughly. Guild offices. Oh, each one also has a bar or an office you can go to. You can hire a mercenary as backup, or you can talk to the bartender and say, hey, what's up, uh, what's some advice around this area, and he'll tell you. He'll give you small little pointers. He'll also point out bounties. Bounties are people that have uh, a certain amount of credits that if you take them out or you capture them or whatever, they'll give you credits. Sometimes the bounties are good guys. I tend to leave them alone. I don't want to start shit with the militia. I, the militia. I, I at least need somebody on my team or to be helping me out. I don't like showing up to places like this and all of a sudden everybody starts shooting at me. Especially if I'm trying to get ammunition or if I'm trying to repair. And I show up here and the militia's like, nope. And they'll also confiscate your shit. They have their certain things. Stellar map. Uh, here we go. See if, wait, no. This one. See if it shows it. There's like live organs. There's uh, that. Live organs, uh, there's a certain type of whiskey, and these places, these certain items are banned and considered contraband in certain sectors. If you go there, they won't let you dock unless you either, one, surrender, two, uh, pay a fine, or three, uh, they just shoot you. That's really your only option. <clears throat> They'll be like, hey, we detected contraband, we're not letting you dock. However, sometimes you can get around it and you can sell the contraband. The contraband actually gets you a lot of money. But it's very risky, and usually you got to go to places like this, or places where there's pirates, and you're on their team. You go to a message board in most of these areas, either here or here, and you go into the bar, and you can get the message board, and the message board has a bunch of missions on it. You can look at your active missions, or you can look at the missions that, that are available. Tell you how many credits you'll get for it, what you got to do, how difficult it may be. It'll have, it'll have a risk factor. You typically want to stick with the lower risk factor and complete them first, just so you can get some money. 
build up your defenses, build up your weapons, and then you tackle the bigger ones. Um, on here, the learning curve is it follows however the player plays. If you're really good, then you're going to get these missions that are harder really quick, and the enemies are going to be harder really quick. Um, if you're having trouble, the game tends to help you out, gives you a mission. Somebody will find you and go, hey, I noticed you're struggling, and they'll hook you up with like a small little task, and they'll give you a bunch of money, or they'll give you a part. So, I mean, this, it, it, it's very similar to Fallout as far as side missions. There's plenty of them. I mean, every time I turn around, there's like 10 more things to do. You'll never run out of shit to do um, that I'm aware of. I, I played for six hours, and I still got a whole bunch of shit I need to do in this solar system. And there's like 16 fucking solar systems. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Well, I'm going to end this gameplay here real quick. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and start another one later. Um, look for me later on. I'll go ahead and put a post up. Later, guys.